Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. It's Taylor. Today I'm doing a little Halloween glam. Don't forget if you guys like the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. That's all for the intro. Let's get started. To start things off, I'm taking my Urban Decay Shadow Primer and blending that all over my eyes to prime. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. It's Taylor. Today I'm doing a little Halloween glam. Don't forget if you guys like the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. That's all for the intro. Let's get started. To start things off, I'm taking my Urban Decay Shadow Primer and blending that all over my eyes to prime. Now to deepen it, I'm taking the black from the palette and blending that into the crease. Next up, I'm cutting my crease. I haven't done a cut crease in so long. I'm taking the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer in the shade Deep Cinnamon and cutting my crease and using a Wet n Wild flat brush. Now I'm taking the Baby Guy Peach Palette from ColourPop and taking that orange shade and packing it all over the lid. I need to kind of messily, but that doesn't matter because we're going to fix that by lining the crease later. To finish up the crease, I'm taking this pink glitter liner by NYX. Next up for my liner, I'm taking the Neogen eyeliner. Also, if you guys are dressing up for Halloween, comment down below what you guys are dressing up as. Next up to prime my face, I'm using the MAC Fix Plus, and for foundation, I'm using the NYX Born to Glow Foundation. I'm also going to be using my Fix Plus to set my face later. In this video, I'm testing out a new sponge. It's the new Real Technique sponge, the blue one. I don't think I like it. It has a very weird texture, and I mean, my foundation looked good afterwards, but I don't know. I've used it a few more times. To finish up my lower lash line, I'm going back into the ABH palette and taking the shades Sienna and Cypress Umber and blending that on my lower lash line. And then I'm taking the shade Bronze and blending that on the inner part of my eyes. For blush, I'm taking the Innisfree blush in the shade number 9. These Innisfree blushes are great, by the way. 10 out of 10. Next up for lashes, I'm taking the style Yeji from Mulan Rose Cosmetics, which is Kentayanai's makeup brand. These lashes and the website will be linked down below if you guys want to check it out. And yes, these lashes are named after the Yeji. It's these Yeji. Yes, they are named after her. Now I'm filling in my moles with the Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner in Forest Brown. Then I line my lips with the Wet n Wild Liner in Brown. For lipstick, I'm using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Rome. So 
so that is all for the video here's a little close-up of the final look hope you guys enjoyed this look don't forget to check out our makeup brand down below moonlight rose cosmetics all is on instagram you guys want to stay updated that's all for the video and bye guys